Hey, it's Jose Jafarji from SavvyRealEstateInvestor.com. I'm in uh, downtown Toronto at uh, Trinity Bellwoods Parks, and uh, you know, beautiful weather we've been having uh, this time of the year. I uh, hope it lasts. Uh, is what I keep praying every day. Anyways, uh, what I wanted to talk to you today about was um, a lot of new investors I I work with. They often ask me, "Oh, the cash flow is not good enough for the property." Uh, because it's you know it's hundred dollars or two hundred dollars which is not gonna dramatically affect their lifestyle which uh, of course I agree with however if you change your thinking in terms of uh, 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 one property being a forced savings program it, it dramatically changes your perspective on things so for example with every property uh, approximately fifteen hundred dollars or fourteen hundred dollars a month is your mortgage um, you know seven hundred dollars about fifty percent of it is going towards principal so uh, just think about it that if you are um, if your your every month seven hundred dollars is being saved and it's being paid uh, by somebody else which is your tenant so approximately uh, fifty percent every month and that if uh, it keeps on increasing of course every year because your loan is getting paid down every year so Changing your perspective on seeing that one property alone is a forced savings program uh, automatically being deposited into your bank, which is of course uh, uh, reducing your loan amount, it's, it, it makes a lot more sense now. So hopefully that was helpful. Thanks a lot and keep up with the hustle.